Hey friends! Welcome to my newest YouTube video and today I have a collective pet haul. I'm really excited to show you guys all the rat stuff I've bought lately. Um, all this stuff is stuff that hasn't yet been in the cage. Um, when my newest rat is better, I'll go more into detail about that in another video. I'm going to put them all in the cage with a whole bunch of new toys. So I've got them here. And I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, I haven't kept the tags on everything, I don't think. So if there's something here that you're interested in and you want to have a link to it or know where I got it from, just let me know in the comments. And let's start this thing. I've got quite a lot. I got a bit carried away, so I don't want to keep this video too long. First up, we have got this. And this is the... Woodlands Bright's trio of willow balls and it's just three very colourful willow balls and they hang on the cage with this like so I've got a running colourful theme um, with these toys I wanted to brighten up the cage a little bit so next up is also Woodlands and it is the bamboo and corn and it's just a chew like this, it just hangs up on the cage again with one of these little wooden clips my tripod is broken so I'm sorry for the awkward angle I know it's a little bit wonky in the background um, I do have another one on the way so that'll be sorted soon that's this Oops. We've got the Boredom Breakers Woody's Noir Garland, which is just like this. It's just some wooden chews in a really cute colours and shapes. I do have boy rats and they do make up like a more boyish version of this toy. I think it's got footballs on it, but I am a sucker for cute things and I'm sure my boys won't mind the cute colours, so that's what they got. <laughs> Next up I have a wooden bendy bridge and it just looks like that, it's the small version and um, they're actually called play sticks and they're from Woodlands uh, which I got from Pets at Home. Here is the medium one which I also got so they're just used as a bridge or as a divider or just as a little platform. They're really versatile and Rats love them. I really want to get some rainbow versions, but they're quite expensive. I can never find them in the UK. <laughs> Next up, we have got this one. Oh, I don't remember if I said that the boredom breakers thing was from Amazon. Next up, this is also from Amazon. Uh, this is a bit of a weird one. I think this one was a parrot toy. But it's just this, it hangs up on a little clip, like so. Very colourful, very fun to move around and stuff. It's just a load of wooden chews. That's that. Uh, what else do we have? This thing here is my absolute favourite toy that I've ever bought. I got it from Amazon and I'm so chuffed with it. It's this wooden rainbow bridge ladder thing. It's just out of wooden beads and sticks. It's so long I can't even get it all in the camera. It's absolutely giant. See? <laughs> I absolutely adore it. I'm definitely going to get myself some more of these. I can't wait to put it inside the cage. That's just from Amazon. I believe this is also a pet toy. It actually said that it wasn't going to be here till the end of next month, but it came here a few days ago. I was really chuffed. Um, next up we've got this, this is also from Pets at Home, it is a colourful corn chew, it's just like, I don't know what you call this stuff, it's like kind of like dried grass or something, and it's got some loofah and some wood and some beads in the middle, so this just hangs up on the cage as well. Next up, 
They had a three for two offer in pets at home and I took advantage. <laughs> Next up we have got the Woodlands rope climbing frame. It just looks like that. Let me lay it down, maybe you can see it better. It's just a climbing frame, two sticks and it hangs up and then there's little rope and wood blocks here. I actually already have one of these in the cage but it's all chewed up and there's none of the wood bits in the middle and half the strings have gone. So I got that in the offer. It was like three for two on any of the Woodlands products so I had to get on that. Next up, another Woodlands product. This is the Woodlands Munchable Mattress. And it's just like that. It's actually folded in half right now as you can see, but it'll be really comfortable to lay on the bottom of the cage and they can chew it or just pee on it as I'm sure they will do. And next step, oh, just send it flying. I got a small lookout ledge from Pets at Home, um, which is just so that they can use more of the space in their cage. Because I do have a big Aventura cage. Um, I only have a couple of levels that I've actually put in so far. And with rats, the more stuff you put in the cage, if you put it in uh, cleverly, it's more room for them to use, because then they can use the airspace too. So things like this are perfect. This is about four pounds. Um, next up we have a lava ledge, same, same sort of deal as the uh, lookout ledge, which is made out of like a, what's it called, let me see. That doesn't really say what it's made out of, but basically it's the same sort of deal, um, but these ones they can also chew and it helps to keep their teeth down and also their nails down as well, and they're also just quite cute in the cage as well. I already have a pink one and another purple one in the cage, but I really like them so. Coming to the end of it now. I also got this Pets at Home deodorizing shampoo for small pets. I don't know what I think of this so far. I want to just get it out there that if you have rats, you shouldn't bathe them unless they really, really need it. Um, it can stress them out and it's just not really necessary most of the time. And then we also have this Fruity Minerals Chew. This is in one of my little, well, the little cage. This is actually a cage that I'm filming on top of. So I've got one of these in there, but I actually really liked it. So I wanted to buy one for the big cage. And the last toy of the video, which I also got today, is this giant igloo really simple um, it's just basically a big plastic bucket with a little dipping so they can go and sit in there and I'm sure they'll put loads of bedding in there and my rats tend to like these sort of toys the best so I'm quite excited to put that in the cage the thing is when I introduce my new rats I want to have a lot of new territory in the cage so that they, the main rats the resident rats don't feel like they own everything. I'll get more into that in another video. Uh, we're coming to the end now. I've just got a few treats to show you. Uh, first up is these yummy fruity shapes by Rotor Stack. Uh, my rats aren't very food motivated, so I'm not sure how well these are going to go down, but hopefully they'll be interested. One by Rotostack is these delicious yogurt drops. These ones are strawberry flavour. I also have chocolate flavour which I've already opened and they are not in the least bit interested about it. So that's exciting. I have this giant Whimsies chew and I think they're all going to share that together. Um, they're actually dog chews but rats go crazy for them so I got a big one to try. Big ones like that are about 89 pence in pets at home, whereas a big bag of them is like eight pounds. 
So I don't want to spend all that money straight away. And finally, I've got this Rotosac Nature's Nibbles in honey flavour. They've also had carrot flavour before. You basically just cut these up into three and they hang on the top of the cage and they're a really fun treat. And they also encourage climbing because I tend to hang them in the middle somewhere. But yeah, that's everything that I've got to show you today. Okay, so let me know down in the comments below if you've tried any of these things. Um, if you have any pets of your own, what pets do you have? Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Ta-ra!